All right, guys, welcome back to Out There Outdoors. Um, gonna be doing another unboxing for you guys, and something a little different. Same MTB box, or same company MTB, um, but it is their brand new Elite box. Um, and actually, as far as I know, it, I don't think it's even been released to the public yet. I think you actually have to have a current subscription in order to get it. Um, yeah, so far I haven't seen anyone else on YouTube doing an unboxing for this, so this is gonna be your first look at all the new, more expensive stuff, basically. Um, or initially, I thought this was supposed to have more stuff, and it kind of does. Um, it's not not so much more, it's just higher end yeah. and higher quality stuff. It's fancy. Pretty much. So fancy. Hopefully it's fancy enough to work. Baby! <laughs> Alright, back to what we're doing. Alright, so I've already opened this, as you guys can see. Um, I couldn't wait to do it, so I'm just going to show you guys now. So, we'll hand that over to her. Impatient. We're not going to be playing a game tonight where she tries to figure everything out because she actually did a lot better than I thought she was going to. Um, so, I'm just going to read them off. She'll pull it out and then we'll talk about it for a little bit. And we'll do this close up, take it out of the box, play with it a little bit, put it back in the box. Um, actually, I probably won't put it back in the box because most of this is going to get used tomorrow. Because there uh, should be another video coming at you guys. Probably, I won't get it uploaded tomorrow night um, because. We're going to be watching Star Wars tomorrow night. Yeah. If we could afford to rent it. <laughs> <laughs> you just like, let me just yeah, slide yeah, that in there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're going to go fish um, Eldo tomorrow morning. Um, I know you guys have seen it a bunch of times, but the spawn is here. Um, Mike, you guys have seen fishing with me before. Went fishing last weekend and I believe again today. And there are bass on beds. So we will be doing some bed fishing. Trying to see what we can get. Um, just a heads up, it is probably going to be crowded because they just stocked the lakes with rainbow trout yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. Jen told me that. So, um, yeah, they just stocked the lakes. So, Power and, bait. <laughs> Power bait. Um, for those of you that live down here, if you fish El Dorado and you want, well, if you fish in general and you want to get rainbow trout, you can actually eat. Don't go to Eldo. They're basically swimming in a giant poop lake. Disgusting. It, I mean, well, I mean, it, it's reclaimed water, so it's basically clean poop water. That's disgusting. Anyway, back to the box. Boop, boop. All right, so we're gonna start. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool. I don't remember if they did this the last time. They actually list the prices and everything on here. Um, it kind of really shows you how much you're getting for your your money because this box is about fifteen dollars more than the pro. The pro is twenty four ninety nine. This is thirty nine ninety nine. Oh really? Uh, yeah. And it comes out to like forty three sixty with tax because they don't try to do shipping. Um, but oh, you fancy, huh? Well, it, I mean, I had to try it at least once, and after going through some of the stuff, and you guys will see, I'm probably gonna stick with it if I can afford it. So, all right, first one is the joint gill. What? It should say it on the front. Yeah, because that's probably the only thing you'll be able to read. All right, so this is, uh, yeah, uh, it's the Biovex Joint Gill. And just, if any of you are wondering if I had bought this separately, it's $15.30. Ooh. Um, I'm not sure, I'll, we'll give you guys a close-up here in a second. <clears throat> um, but I did take this out of the box last night. Um, it's a hard segmented swim bait. Um, it's got two, well, one big treble, one medium-sized treble. Um, and it's a hard-bodied plastic. So it's definitely going to be used for, uh, it's a wake bait. Um, it should sink a little bit. I don't know how much it will sink because everything on the back of this is in a different language. Um, so I won't know how it's going to, really how it's going to work until I go use it. Um, I, honestly, the only thing on the back of this, and I'll show you guys the package when we do the close-up too. Um, it says weight seal and then the name of the bait again. Everything else is in a different language. So, um, we'll go ahead and give you guys that close-up right about now. Alright guys, so this is the, uh, like I said, the joint. Joint Gill 116. Um, it's got that nice black color, um, that white stripe going down the middle. <clears throat> Excuse me, that chartreuse top on on um, on the the nose of it. It's really gonna make it pop under the water. Um, I don't know how well it's gonna work tomorrow, just for bed fishing, because they're bad. Hopefully the bass are locked on, which is gonna be great. Might try it if things are a little slow, just to mess with it a little bit. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to to using that because that's actually the one that um somebody lost. Sorry. I not like I did it on purpose. No, I know. That is pretty gnarly. I would have known losing that stupid thing was going to be such a headache. 
Oh, what did you do? I'm just kidding. Let's go. All right. Next on the list, the Booyah prank. That was a little bit too easy. Right, guys, Booyah! This is the Booyah <laughs> prank. Uh, it is a uh, popper. It looks like it's a silver. Uh, well, it's actually chrome with a chrome red under or chrome red front and a black top. Um, white fit in the back. Nice or double trebles, which is nice. Um, it doesn't actually list the color on here. Oh no. Uh, oh, it's chrome and black. Uh, duh. So, <clears throat> this is actually, oh, wow, it's actually got a lip on it, too. Huh. Um, I didn't see that at first because it kind of blended out everything else, but it is a lipped, um, basically a square bill popper, which is great because it's actually going to pop, it's going to dive, too, and give it that little bit extra of an action. All right, guys, so this is that Booyah prank. Um, it's got really nice, I'm really liking the color on this. I don't have anything like this is chrome and black. Um, I love the fact that it's got that really deep red on the popping part of it, and the bill is something I haven't seen before. <clears throat> um, really be good come top order because it's gonna look like a shad from down below. Um, I love the red eye. I love the fact, like I said, it's got that bill. It's gonna make have a really good action in the water. All right, so next on the list, guys, is the Mega Bass Bottle Shrimp. Oh, while well, she's getting that, I actually didn't give you the price. This is actually nine ninety nine. For those of you that want to go out there and pick one up. So, ooh, I didn't see the color on this last night. It was too dark. Um, but these are the Mega Bass Bottle Shrimp. They are three inches long. Um, it looks like they're a green pumpkin color. Yeah, that's what I was trying to see. Um, again, this is another thing that everything on the front of it is in a different language, so it's kind of hard to... Yeah, well, they're, sorry, they're from Japan. Oh, yeah. It has yeah. it on the top. It says Japanese They are from edition. Japan. See here. They make really good stuff. They really do, especially fishing stuff, guys. Um... I believe there's a Yozuri bait in here, and I'm pretty sure that's Japanese. Don't quote me on that, because I don't know for sure. Um, but the two jerk baits I have, they are... Oh, I can't think of what they're called. Um, but anyway, they're both made from Japan, and they both have fantastic rattle and fantastic action in the water. Um, so let's get this up. Whoa. Yeah, so these are... Not sure if you guys can see that. We'll get you close up here in a second. The um, Mega Bass Bottle Shrimp. They are three inches long. They're really, really small. This should actually work great for um, spawning bass and the bedfish that we got coming up. All right, guys. So here's a close-up of the bottle shrimp. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a green pumpkin color. That's what I would call it. Um, it's got two really long... Um, I guess they're supposed to... I don't... French... The, blah, blah, blah. Um, I guess they're supposed to be um, like claws, but I don't believe shrimp have claws. Um, but it gives that look of a craw. It's, it's more of a craw bait, I would say. This is a very small craw, three inches, but this will be great for tomorrow with bed fishing. It's small enough, have, we'll have subtle enough movement, and it weighs just enough to fish it weightless. Are you sure that's supposed to be a shrimp? That's what it says on here. Bottle shrimp. That must be a certain kind, of, like a different kind. It must be, yeah. But yeah, so bottle, this uh, bottle shrimp has really got a nice color to it now that I actually hold it up to the light here. Um, it's got some black flag. It's definitely a green pumpkin. Um, but yeah, these two little tentacle things on the front, they're actually going to have a great motion underwater because they're, they're kind of hefty, but when it, they'll flutter down, which is going to make it have that really nice action, um, just jigging it up, pretty much just dragging it along the bottom tomorrow. Because um, for those of you that have never been fished before, or you have, uh, the name of the game is weightless stuff, and trying to be as subtle as you can. Because if these bass aren't locked on, um, the subtlest of movements, are, well, any splash, anything moving fast, they're going to take off. If they're locked on, they're going to pick it up and move it, and you really got to wait for them to actually grab the hook. And you should be able to see them, because bedfish are in, we're talking inches of water. So, hopefully we'll have a good video guys for tomorrow. I'm kind of stoked about it, so. Praying. Yes, we are praying. If anything would be better than the last fishing video you guys saw at the pier, because that would... We're not going to go into that again. What are we done? Oh, $7.99 for those. In case you guys are wondering. I believe they come with what looks like a, I don't know, a six? Well, it looks like a decent amount. Yeah. That's got to be more than six. Yeah, that's more than six. I, was, I only say six because that's the one thing I can actually read on the front of it. Alright, moving on down the line. Um, Jack off Flick Shake. This yeah, I think it's actually pronounced Jackal or Jack All. I'm not 100% sure. These things are massive. Um, they're massive Sankos. 
It's a nice color in them too. They are. It's a gorgeous color. Um, actually, it says on the front here they're a uh, new finesse technique from Japan. So, again, with a Japanese base. And like I said, we talked about before, they make some great stuff. Let me turn my head around here so y'all can see my pretty face. Um, great for wacky rigging, it says their curved design is for a squirming action. So, it's actually going to make it look like a live night crawler. I'll throw these bad boys out here. Oh, dear Lord. It actually kind of it it has looks. has a blue tint to it. Oh, let gosh. me see if I can find the color on this thing for you guys real quick. Could be on the back. Uh, let's see. Or it's probably under that sticker in the front. Blue bill. Okay, that's what we're gonna go with. Quick shake blue bill. Okay. Oh, blue gill. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah, that <laughs> makes a whole lot more sense. Okay, I'm gonna leave that in because now you know we're dumb and can't read. <laughs> anyway, so this is a blue gill color. Which actually, now that we've I figured that out, it makes perfect sense. It's I kind of a... She did figure it out. I thought it said blue ball. <laughs> I thought it said blue bill and so, I flipped it over, so it's okay. Anywho, um, so yeah, it's actually got a... It's more of like a grayish blue plastic itself. Yeah. With blue, um, blue it? gold, gray, or blue, I'm sorry, blue, gold, silver, and black flake in it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this thing is six... It's basically a 7-inch Senko. It's 6.8 inches, 6 inches long. Um, I usually fish four to five inches, um, and That'll this thing—it it will be, <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> um, so we don't we don't wacky we'll the bit of that. We don't wacky rig a whole lot, um, or where I fish, or just me personally. Um, I mainly do Texas rigging. Um, you might see me try it. Texas rig. Um, you would need a really big hook. Um, it actually, it might be too long to Texas rig, honestly. I mean, it's uh, wacky wicked, isn't it? Well, that's what it's made for, but man, we'll try it out. So there you guys go. It, that is the uh, Jackal Flick Shake Bluegill. Um, the, <clears throat> I'm really digging that color. I mean, I, it's something different. Usually we see black and blue Sankos or, you know, um, just straight blue or straight black with some kind of silver flake. Um, but the mixture of the gold, blue, and black flake in there, it's a little bit of silver, I believe, is in there too is really going to give it that nice little shimmer under the water and really hopefully catch something's eye and get its bite. So I'm pretty stoked on this. I'm a little nervous because they're so big. Um, but uh, it should work out pretty well. I'm pretty stoked to try it out. All right, moving on. Is the Begley Pro Sunny B Twin Spin. Booyah, I found it. Yeah, that was a hard one to figure out. Be careful because the treble hook is sticking out. Yeah, that's the one that actually um, shanked me last night when I was going through this box. Um, but yeah, this thing is pretty cool. It is a uh, MTB exclusive. Oh, nice. So. Ooh, that's a cool color. Yeah, that's what I, I didn't see the bottom of it last night. Alright, right, guys, so this is the uh, Bigly Pro Sunny B Twin Spin. So you guys will see it in a minute. I'm not sure if you can see it from where you are. It actually has double props. It's like a little plane. Yeah, this is um, definitely for sure. It's like a buzz bait top water kind of thing. I'm loving the color on it from the top because I only I couldn't really see it last night. Um, it looks like a baby bass, but you flip it on the bottom. It's got this nice chartreuse and a little orange flare right here at the top treble. Um, it also has that the red treble on the back just for a little added flare under the water. Um, but this seems to be really sick come top water season. I'm really stuck. I might actually try it tomorrow and see if I can piss something off and have it hit. <clears throat> um, but yeah, this is a definitely something different. And um, I'm pretty stoked on that too. So, alright guys, so here's that uh, Bentley Pro Sunny B Twin Spin. As you guys can see, like I said, it's got that double prop, big oversized treble on the front, medium sized treble on the back that's red for a little added flare. Has that sartreuse on the bottom, which is really going to make a pop when it's on the Run on top water. <clears throat> the double prop is going to give it a whole lot of wake, which is going to be nice. Got that deep green on top for that baby bass color. Um, this thing is, is it's gnarly. It's really cool. I'm really stoked to give it a shot. Um, have never had. I have a bunch of buzz baits, but I've never had something like this. So, it should be pretty cool. Moving on. Turning the page. Literally, I'm just kidding. I'm not turning the page. Um, they're all right here. Just kidding. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> so next is the Yozuri 3DB Vibe. I found it, I found it. 
Oh, it actually shows you some. But yeah, it this shows how it works. Let me see it. All right. <clears throat> so yeah, this is the Yozuri 3DB Vibe. Yozuri. That's what it's called. <laughs> All right. Um, it actually, it's kind of cool. It shows you kind of how it works in the back. Um, it is a little interesting too. How do I open this thing? Probably just pull it open, or we might be able to open it from the bottom. I have trouble saying that though. Careful. Don't need that going under your finger now. Okay, so this is actually I was I was right. It's Japanese, but it was actually made the Japanese design, but was made in the Philippines. Oh, nice. Ouch. Oh, it's stapled. That's why. That was anticlimactic. The trouble was stuck in the bottom. Just brush your finger. Come on now. There we go. Ooh, that's oh, that's pretty. Oh wow, this thing is really cool. Oh, well, I mean, like pretty. really, really cool. <clears throat> so you gotta see it up in here, uh, up close here in a second. Um, but if you guys can see it from that far away, it's kind of got a bluegill look to it. It's more of a I would say not so much bluegill, but it, it's got the same pattern. So it, it's kind of got a, a bluegill panfish design on it. Um, it's got the blue in the front up here, stripes along the back. It's got the uh, blue up front by the gills. Uh, nice big eyes on it. Stripes along the sides. Got that little orange flare on the tip up here. And it's actually ribbed. It's, it's ribbed and it's not flat. Oh, really? Yeah. Like how most crankbaits are. Um, it's actually got a little um, contour to it. It's supposed to give it a little different kind of uh, <clears throat> emotion under the water. Oh, let's see if we can hear it. Do you want to give that baby a rattle? Let me see something real quick. I'm not sure if it's actually got rattles or it's just the tribbles rattling. Okay, it's got some rattles to it. So It's also got a really nice... Um, like a bluish finish on top. I don't know if that probably won't help it at all. It might get a little extra flash coming in like this. Um, oh, if the some, sun hits it, right? Wouldn't that kind of make it pop mm -hmm. a little bit? Especially right now, we got clear water too. With the storm coming in, it should um, hopefully clear up the water a little bit. Um, it'll for sure heat up the water, which is what we need. So I'm going back to while she's getting the camera ready. Um, the Jackal Flick Sticks, or Flick Shake, uh, we'll call it a Flick Stick because that makes more sense, are 549. The twin spin is twelve ninety nine, and this is nine ninety nine. In case you all are wondering, don't know where you can find them, but that's how much they cost. All right, so here you guys go. Like I said, it's kind of got that bluegill look to it. It's um a little different in color. It's a little more brown, um, but the color on it is just it's phenomenal. <clears throat> I mean, for those of you guys that you know, have used Yozuri or know about them, they make quality stuff. Um, this thing is going to work really well, and I actually need a lipless crankbait because I lost one the last time I was at Eldo. Um, so we're giving this thing a shot for sure tomorrow. Because um, like I said, I'll, I'll throw everything out there. <clears throat> but um, I'm stoked to try this thing out. So we'll see how it works tomorrow. Alright, last, but definitely not least, Biospawn XO Swim. Alright, so these are your... Um, Basically, your generic run of the mill swim baits. Um, they have a paddle tail on them. They are four inches long. Let me see if I can find the color before I open this thing. Nope. Oh, I'm sorry. Here we go. Uh, blue, red, pearl is the color. I don't see that on there. It kind of has a purpley. Almost looks like a mermaid's tail. Oh, well, see how it's got the red tint on the bottom? That's what it is. So these are actually hollow body swim baits as well. So they are um, designed to use a lead belly hook, which I actually have. Whoo! What? Go ahead and give that a good whiff. <laughs> what? Oh, oh! That smells like. That'll be a quack. <laughs> it's like shrimp. Yeah, these actually, I think they're. Um, and not in a good way. Yeah, they smell like kind of rotten shrimp. <clears throat> but yeah, this is um, the uh, Exo uh, Biospawn Exo Swim. It's got a nice color to it. Uh, like I said, it's got a hollow body. Uh, basically, you're running the muscle bit. They are ribbed, which is nice. It'll give it a little bit more of an action to it. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to try this. I'll probably, I might actually throw one on a swim jig. 
Um, let's we'll see how that works tomorrow. Um, I might just throw them on lead belly hooks. We'll see how it goes. They stink. That's all I know. Did they smell? They smell a little rap. All right, guys. So here's the BioSpawn Exo Swim in that uh, blue, red, pearl color. Um, like I said, it's got a nice big paddle tail. It's not super heavy either, which is nice. Um, so it'll give you a really good motion on it. <clears throat> they are hollow body lead bullet hooks would be a good thing to use on these. You get to always Texas rig them, throw it with a bullet weight, maybe a 3 16 or a quarter ounce if you really want to get crazy. Um, but like I said, they probably throw them on J. You can pretty much throw these things on anything. Um, soft plastics are the most versatile bait in a fisherman's arsenal. You can use them on trailers, you can use them weightless, Texas rigged, Carolina rigged, any kind of rig. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty stoked on these things because I need to work some baits. No thanks, thanks. Yeah, we'll put it back right around. We'll put this one back in here. Okay. Alright guys, so this is the Elite, uh, the MTB Elite box. Um, all of the came in this is phenomenal. I mean, it's definitely a step up from Pro for sure. Oh yeah, I definitely think it's worth it. Yeah, I mean, in comparison, I mean, we got some good stuff with the Pro Box last time. Um, those Gator Hogs crushed it. Those sticky hooks were really good, too. They were until I lost them all. <gasps> I lost them all? Well, I think I still have one left, but they blend in with my other two hot hooks. So I have <laughs> no idea which ones are which. Um, but yeah, this, um, this this stuff is awesome. I mean, these things, these, like I told you guys in previous videos, soft plastic is probably my favorite thing to throw. And there are so many different versions out here, and I've never seen something like this before. Um, I've seen 7-inch Senkos. I've never actually used one. Not that color, though. Um, yeah, yeah, not that yeah. color. I have not seen that color. And I've told you guys in previous videos, too, um, stock is limited in Southern California. Um, unless I feel like driving 50 miles to Rancho, which I don't most of the time because that's, that's the drive. Um, and not the knock dicks. They got some good stuff, but uh, they don't have a whole lot of, uh, a whole wide selection because... Here in Southern California, it's mainly saltwater fishing. Um, bass fishing is the... Yeah. But, um, yeah, I, I would definitely, if you guys are, if you don't have a subscription yet, subscribe and wait till this thing comes out. I don't, like I said, I, I don't know for sure if it's only for people that have subscribed yet. I haven't seen it on their website anywhere. I just got an email saying that I, I could upgrade to it because I already had a subscription. Um, but check it out, guys. If you guys can do it, I would recommend it. Yeah, I definitely think if it's in your budget, it'd be cool. The Pro Box was really good, but mm. I think the Elite Box would be the way to go, only because seeing the difference, not the not the Pro Box, um, I think this is more quality yeah. and more like durable. Like It, it has a different kind of feel to it, um, and that's coming from a non-fisherman. Fisherwoman. But, um, yeah, so I definitely think if it's in your budget to go ahead and try it, and uh, definitely the Elite box, like I said, I think it has a little bit more quality to yeah. it, so. And uh, we actually, before we started the video, we were, <laughs> I was looking through the prices on this stuff, and added it up, it actually, I mean, it's, it's 43 something with tax to get, to get the box. Yeah. And um, you're probably getting close to 60 bucks for the worth of fishing gear, which is fantastic. Yeah, you're probably saving a good, what? 25 to I would say I would maybe. say between 10 and 20 bucks for sure oh. uh, Well, hold on pause All right Yeah, so <clears throat> I actually just added it up for you guys just so you didn't have to add it up yourself if You didn't want to go back and catch how much everything was because I probably forgot to mention how much some stuff was Because I can't remember that well um, <laughs> Trust me. She'll tell you that right I can vouch for that. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not good Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah back to what we're doing um, so adding all this stuff up, total, and I don't know this, these prices, I don't think they include tax, so you gotta factor that in from where you're buying them from. Yeah. Um, is sixty seven seventy four, And I paid $43 for the box, so you're saving right the there I already saved 20 bucks, $24. Yeah. Um, you add tax, you're probably talking at least 75 bucks for all of this stuff. That's a $30 savings. I mean, it's a no-brainer, guys. I yeah, mean, and that's just this box. I mean, who knows what could be in the next box. Exactly. You know? So you guys will see me use some of this up tomorrow for sure. Um, definitely the bottle shrimp. Um, I might even try whacking one of these jackal things. Uh, for sure the lipless. 
swim baits for sure. The only thing you probably won't see me use is the top water stuff, honestly. Yeah. Um, because top water right now is it's pretty much non-existent. Um, but what you guys can expect tomorrow, um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I will be at Eldorado first thing tomorrow morning. Gonna fish it for a couple hours. Um, we should have a clearing in what's happening right now. And I don't know if it's actually started raining yet. Um, it's just a chance to rain overnight till about two in the morning. Um, but uh, which isn't, uh, which isn't a big deal. So no, and it, we should be perfectly fine. Plus, between I think it's like seven thirty to eleven. There's no should be no wind whatsoever. It should be like the calmest day we fished that you guys have seen so far. Um, of course, right after that, at eleven. I think it's at 11.45, that we're supposed to have 20 mile an hour gusts. So we won't be fishing after that because you won't be able to hear anything. Oh. <laughs> um, um, but it should be a good day tomorrow. So I know I'm stoked about it. Um, she gets to film the whole thing, whole thing. I don't know how excited she is about it. But. Well, fun. ask me tomorrow. <laughs> um, but I am also bringing, I actually um, went through a couple of my old tackle boxes my dad gave me and found some flies that we are going to try and catch some bluegill with tomorrow if things get pretty slow because um, the bass coming up, the bluegill should also be up. And there's a spot at Eldo that you guys have seen this fish before that is usually known to have a ton of bluegill. So we're going to try and for sure hit that tomorrow. Um, mainly going to focus on the back lake that you guys have seen that little cove we've been at because um, I know that there's three or four bass beds right there. I've seen them before. Yeah. Um, we know they're there. So that's what we're, our main focus is going to be tomorrow. Yeah. So hopefully, 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 you guys will see a bass in real life, finally. Well, in YouTube real life, you're not going to actually be there with me. But you'll be there with me. Uh -huh. And finally, on our channel. Sure. Or, and finally, on his channel. Yeah. Um, I've been trying for you guys, I really haven't. Trust me, no one can vouch for that more than she can. Uh, she can also vouch for the fact that, um, how frustrated I am for not, I like, trust me, I've been trying everything I can, guys, to get a fish on camera. Yeah. Um, and then last weekend we got stalled with weather and we were at Fred Hall show, which I'm going to talk about here in a minute. Um, but, uh, and then su Sunday I got sick. It wasn't feeling well. She was tired and it was, it was a rough weekend last weekend as we got hit by a case of the, we got hit with a case of, um, we just kind of got lazy and we're tired. Um, we both work full time. Um, we're up at five in the morning. She's up at four thirty in the morning. So and we kind of decided to take a break for a little bit. Um, but moving on to the last thing I'm going to talk to you guys about is the Fred Hall show. Um, we weren't allowed to film. Well, I looked on the website and it said we weren't allowed to film. And then we get there and of course everybody and their mother had a GoPro. So, sorry. Yeah, we know for next time. Yeah, but, we do know um, for next time. I'm sure they probably meant as far as like huge cameras and things like that. I mean, that could have just been... You know, that type of thing, so. Yeah. Um, it was probably is better that we, that, that was the first time I, we had ever been. Um, and it was probably a good thing I didn't film it because I kind of was. Overwhelmed. Yeah. Like, um, very overwhelmed. If you guys have ever been to Fred Hall, well, drop a comment down let me know what you guys think about it. Um, but I, I mean, you know, I'm used to going to Bass Pro and to Dick's and, and every once in a while I go to Turner's to get fish and stuff. Um, but that was, whew, man. I, yeah. It's like I putting it a it's like putting a antisocial person in the mental of a room filled with thousands of people and telling them to go talk to somebody and it's like uh, yeah I it was, I can't even put it into words now I mean like honestly I hit every booth that I wanted to hit um, spent a lot of my time with the Shimano booth because uh, yeah that was really cool yeah I, I, and Iowa. And Dio. Uh, good too. Dio, Shimano, Abu Garcia. Um, what was the other? Oh, 13 Fishing. Um, yeah. Check them out for sure. Uh, there was one more booth that we spent a lot of time at. It was a big name company. It wasn't Costa. Phoenix. No. Oh, it was actually, yeah, Phoenix. For those of you, speaking of Phoenix, for those of you that live in the area down here, the Bellflower, um, Long Beach area, Phoenix is apparently actually based like half a mile from my apartment. Um, I don't know if they have a store, um, but their rods are, they're sick. Um, if you guys can, check them out. Check their website out. Um, just type in Phoenix Rods and it should pop right up. Um, not sponsored. Sponsor drop anything like that. Just go check them out. Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely check them out because they are, they have some nice stuff. Really cool people too. They are really chill people. Um, the guys at the Shimano booth were super chill. 
Um, we got some really cool stickers and decals. <laughs> yeah, we didn't actually buy anything at the Fred Hall show because every rod that I picked up that I wanted was well, like $200. Yeah. Um, and I'm down to spend 200 bucks on a rod when I have $200 to spend on the rod. We did get some really good popcorn though. Yes, we did. Really good popcorn. So, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Giant Shimano sticker. I also have one on my truck. Um, yeah. Got a bunch of other random stuff from places in San Diego. Uh, got some Berkeley stickers. Um, some small company stuff. A Bo Garcia sticker. Yeah, yeah so it, sticker game was on point Yeah. at Fred Hall. Uh, like I said, we didn't actually buy anything other than food. She bought some really good popcorn. Um, I can't remember the name of the place. Uh, I don't know, but we got... Um, Huckleberry flavor, which was amazing. I'm your Huckleberry. Yeah, we got crims, crimson and gray, which tastes just. The guy said it's supposed to taste like McDonald's uh, apple pie or something like, or cherry pie. Um, it tastes. One. Well, to me, it tastes just like oh, uh, tricks. tricks. Yes. Which is really good because I used to love tricks. Like it has this really sweet. Heck, you be used to. Who doesn't love tricks anymore? Well, I'm saying like I used to eat it more We're when I was a kind kid. Of kids. Yeah. Tricks um, for adults slash kids. Yeah, it amazing. And then we got my okay. I did not like spicy things. Not at all. Whatsoever. Um, as my extent of spice is Cholula, and that's more of a flavor thing than than a spice. It's thing. more of a sweet thing. Um, but the one that I liked the most was sweet jalapeno. Now I know that sounds. Like, why would you mix those two together? But it was actually really good. It was very that was good. the one that I, the one that I munched on a lot, and it didn't have a spice. You can definitely smell the jalapeno, mm -hmm. but it was a good sweet and kind of sweet and spicy um, yeah, it was type thing. Very good. And uh, yeah, so and all their flavors were on point. They had strawberry, they had caramel apple, they had apple, they had you know all kinds of things. And uh, so we bought a few bags. So the guys were really cool too. They were really cool. And she bought all that stuff and. Me being the median man that I am, but beef jerky. Um, not just your run of the mill beef jerky. No, not teriyaki. Not pepper. Um, we got deer jerky, so venison, uh, bison, gator, which was surprisingly really good, and last but not least, the cream of the crop. We got elk jerky. It's all gone. It was, uh, it was gone the day after I yeah, bought it. I did not eat the gator jerky. Something about seeing it and knowing that it was gator, I did not want to taste it. But I did taste the other ones. Yeah, and guys, this, is, this isn't, you know, the elk. Like, if you guys go to Bass Pro, they have that elk stick thing that's like 10% elk, 90% beef. This is like, yeah. the, this was legit. Like, straight the up. elk was straight up elk. Yeah. Um, and you could taste, you could, I mean, even with the jerky being the way it was, you could taste the gaminess in it. And oh, guys, it was bomb. Um, that, I, it was the same company that sold them both. I don't know if the popcorn was made by the company they had, um, but the jerky is from the Jerky Jerks. Again, not sponsored, but if you guys go to Fred Hall or see them at anywhere at these shows, get some of that jerky, guys. It is so good. Yeah. Um, I think I paid 40 bucks for four of those. And it wasn't, well, yeah. it wasn't a lot, but it was a decent amount. Yeah, it was about 10 bucks. Or no, me. actually, I paid 40 bucks for three and get the fourth one for free. So oh, yeah, there you go. <clears throat> um, but yeah, guys, if you live in, I mean, I don't know how far Fred Hall goes out. I know that we have it here in Long Beach at the Convention Center. We have, they have one in Bakersfield, and then um, they have one in Del Mar right now, actually. It started uh, Wednesday. Um, check it out, guys. It's eight, here in Long Beach, it's $18 a ticket. Um, it is 15 bucks to park, so prepare for yourself for that. But yeah, guys, if you, if you um, live in the area or want to go to a fishing show, check out Fred Hall. Like I said, it's $18 for a ticket. It's 15 bucks to park at the convention center. I, I, that's where that's where we parked. I don't know where the other parking spots were or anything yeah. like that. Um, but it's definitely worth 18 bucks. It is going to be super crowded, so prepare yourself for that. Yeah. Um, but you see some pretty cool stuff. I mean, like <clears throat> my my next thing I'm going to be getting fishing wise is a new rod and reel setup. Um, already got the reel picked out. Um, it's a Shimano Casitas. Um, check that thing out if you guys are looking at a new baitcaster. It's awesome. It's affordable and it's it's their top of top of the line affordable reel. Yeah. It's a hundred bucks, um, but it's Shimano makes good stuff, guys. 
Um, we're planning on getting a favorite rod. Um, actually, she was going to buy it for me for my birthday, which is Tuesday. And uh, they're sold out everywhere. Favorite Literally sold out. Everywhere. Tackle warehouses. Any place that carries favorite rods is completely sold out till April. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a favorite rod. I just I want a heavy rod. I have a bunch of medium heavies. I have a medium rod. I have an ultralight rod. I need that heavy rod. Um, seven two heavy. So anybody want to send me one or somewhere where to go get one? Just let me know because uh, um, I, we go to Dex all the time and they do not have any heavy any heavy bass fishing casting rods no. um, that I know of. So, but uh, yeah, let us know, guys. All right, guys, so thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed going through this new MTV box. Um, like I said, I don't know if anyone else has actually done this yet because um, it just came out this month. This is the first month you can get the Elite box. Um, so as far as I know, I am the first one to actually do an unboxing for this. So we'll see how this stuff works out. Um, definitely going to try a lot of it tomorrow, like I said before. So have a good night, guys, <clears throat> or good morning, good evening. Whatever time you guys are watching this video, have a good one. Um, and hopefully, 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 tomorrow. We'll have something. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully we'll have something to show you guys. Even if it's a bluegill. I, I don't, if we catch a freaking tadpole, I don't care. <laughs> just something to show you guys, hey, I actually caught something. Yeah. And not just a bunch of weeds or, you know, anything else. But, anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching again. From us to you, we love you. Have a good night. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. Drop a comment down. Send me something. Let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, cause I want to hear from you guys. I'm talking to myself right now, but I'm really talking to you. <laughs> so let me know what's up. So anyway, guys, get out there. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching another video of Out There Outdoor. <laughs>